WinTotal's built-in worksheet view lets appraisers leverage the power and flexibility of spreadsheets within the forms themselves. No other appraisal software has anything like it. In simple terms, you link fields down from the forms, automatically run a custom spreadsheet formula, and push the result back up to another field in the form. The best part is it's all done from within the form filler. This video is the first in a series of videos dedicated to showing you how the worksheet view can help, one step at a time. Today's example is the simplest of all spreadsheet formulas, equating one field with another. The bottom part of the grid has three user-definable fields where Fannie Mae lets you adjust for basically whatever you want to adjust for. You can put in effective age, fence, pool, or even subdivision. Once added to the sales grid, many appraisers will then go and manually add the exact same field to the listings and rental grids as well. With the worksheet, the only place you'll need to put it is in the sales grid. The example I'll use is effective age. We're going to pull that field down into a worksheet cell, equate a second cell with the first, and then push the second cell's data back into the form in multiple places. From the form's power view, click the worksheet tab to get the split screen. Click the field you want to link, click the cell where you want the data to go, and click the link field button with the down arrow. The cell below will now mirror whatever the form says in that field. If I change the form to read subdivision, the cell changes with it. Since this is the first worksheet example, I've chosen the simplest of all equations. We're going to equate one cell with another. Click into another cell and type equals, then click on the field that you're equating, in this case, A1. Hit enter. Again, notice how if I change the form back to effective age, both cells now read the same. Now all we need to do is just link the new cell back up into the form. Click on the cell to link up. Click into the listing form field that you're pushing it to. And click the link cell button with the up arrow. Then repeat this process with the rental form as well. Click the cell, click the form, click the button. Don't forget to save this spreadsheet here or put it in your template report so you can pull it up when you do future reports. Take some time over the next few weeks to try out this easy function with your own workflow and examples. While this is the simplest of all possible examples, we'll use this basic understanding in future videos to do everything from percentage adjustments to combining data from multiple fields into one. Stay tuned!